In this short demo, I'm going to show you how to get started with a new decision in Sparkling Logic Smart's Decision Manager. Smart's is a cloud-based business rules and analytics platform. Once I log into Smart's, I can start defining my decision without any support from IT. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to get started with a new project. First, I'll import some data, then I'll add a few fields for my decision results. Next, I'll add a computation and write a few rules. Finally, I'll execute and test my rules and I'll finish by creating a simple report. The scenario for the demo is an online auto insurance quote. As a business analyst working for an auto insurance carrier, I've been tasked with defining a decision to provide a quote for premiums when an applicant applies for an online quote. Let's get started. When I first log into Smarts, I'm taken to the home page. On the home page, you can see all the projects in my workspace that I have access to. In this case, we'll be creating a new project. I'm going to call my project Auto Quote Example. I'm going to import some data to help me get started. In this case, my data is going to be a JSON file of auto insurance applications. When I create the project, I get a preview that shows me the structure of the data. In this simple dialog, I'm able to make changes to the names of the fields and sections, change their cardinality, or change their data types. In this case, I'll just accept the defaults. When Smarts finishes creating the project, I can see the three main artifacts of my project. The decision, the form, which defines the structure of my data and the sample data that I imported. Let's go ahead and open the decision. Once I'm in the decision area of Smarts where I'll be working to define my decision, the first thing I might want to do is open my data. When I open my data, I can see that I've loaded 100 auto insurance applications into the environment. I'm able to scroll through and look at the, each application individually, and of course I can jump to any individual application in my data sample. If I collapse my data, I can see the different sections that are part of the insurance application, who is the primary contact, who's the primary driver on the application. If I have multiple drivers, I can expand and look at each driver listed on this application. Same thing with vehicles. I could have multiple vehicles on an application and I can expand and look at each one. And then finally, the type of coverage the applicant wants. I notice that I don't have any place in this data to put my outputs for my decision. So the first thing I'm going to do is modify the form and I'm going to define a new section and this will be my decision outcome section. In this section, I'll add a field called status where we'll be keeping track of whether an applicant is approved, denied, or referred. And I'll add another field called message where we'll be providing a reason for that decision. Now let's look at the decision itself. Smarts has created a placeholder decision flow for me. The decision flow organizes the decision into a series of activities. The first thing I might want to do is determine whether or not an applicant is eligible for coverage. So let's add a new activity to this flow. And for this activity, I'm going to associate it with a decision step. So I'll be creating a new decision step called check eligibility. Once I do that, I can look at the Decision tab and see that I now have added my new decision step. In this decision step, I'm going to add a rule set where I can write my eligibility rules. And within this rule set, let's go ahead and add our first rule. So the first rule I might want to write would be to determine if any applicants are too young and therefore not eligible for coverage. So I'll start by giving the rule a name. Then I'm going to write the condition of the rule. So we can say if the age is less than 21. 
If I reference a field that isn't defined in my data, I will get an error message. If I look at my data, I might notice that I have a date of birth, but I don't have any fields called age. So let's go ahead and add a new field uh, called age. I'm going to want to define this as an integer rather than a string. And then I'm going to go ahead and write the expression to compute the age from the date of birth. So I'll take the year of the current date and I'll subtract from that the date of birth year. Once I define the computation in the form, I'm able to reference it in my rules. You can see that the error message has now gone away. Now we can finish writing the rule. So in this case, we're going to set the status field to denied if the applicant is too young. And then let's provide a reason for that decision in our message field. And we'll just simply say too young here. So once I finish writing the rule, I'm now able to test the rule by executing it against the 100 records in my data sample. So let's do that next. We'll hit the Run button, and once the uh, decision executes against my data sample, the UI gives me certain information. First of all, I can see that on this particular document, document number one in my data sample, that the rule didn't apply. I can look and see that the age was computed as 56, and that the decision outcome has no output. I also have this shading on the rule name, and if I click on that shading, I can see that out of my 100 documents, the rule did apply to two cases. So let's filter on those cases so that we can take a look at them. So here is the first of the two. I can see the age is 20, the applicant was denied too young, and then I'm able to go to the second, and the applicant was also 20 and denied too young. You can see when I'm looking at a case where the rule applies, the indicator next to the rule name is green, telling me that the rule was applied to this particular case. Smarts has also highlighted the fields that I'm referencing in my rules. Those that are used in inputs are orange, and those that are used as outputs are blue. So I can quickly look at my form as I develop my rules and see which fields are important. The last thing we're going to do is explore this area of the product called the dashboard. The dashboard where, is where I can define reports based on KPIs and metrics and determine how my decision executes across a data sample. The simplest type of report that I can produce is to drag a, the status field to the dashboard and that will create a histogram that shows me the distribution of values in the status field. So when I look at this report, I can see the same thing I saw in the heat map on the rule name, that it was applied in two out of the 100 cases, and those applicants have been denied, and that I have 98 cases where I don't yet have a value for status. So as I continue developing my decision, I'll be able to see how my cases are falling into the various approved, referred, and denied buckets, and how many cases I haven't yet handled. So what you've seen today is how business analysts are empowered to define and test decisions in SMARTS without support from IT. SMARTS works well for agile methodologies where executing business rules are delivered for each iteration or sprint.